Hi everyone and welcome to the Back 40 Feet where we talk about suburban, urban, and patio gardening. And it's June, which means I need to start watching for my nemesis, the squash vine borer. Today I'm going to show you a squash vine borer pheromone trap. Uh, this was covered in another video, but this is only just going to talk about the trap, so it's a little bit more abridged. Uh, squash vine borer males will emerge two or three weeks before the females, and this pheromone trap is designed to attract the males. Um, it'll do two things for me. It will help me surveil my yard to let me know when the squash vine borers are about so that I could protect my vines with other um, uh, biologics. The other thing it does is it helps to reduce the male population of my squash vine borers to hopefully reduce the overall population of these insects in my yard. These are the elements of the trap. Firstly is I have my pheromone lure. This is the cage the lure goes in and then I'll put the lure in the trap and then this trap will have about an inch of water to trap the bugs. Here I've put the lure in the cage, and each lure lasts anywhere from about three to four weeks, so I just will make a note on my calendar to let me know that it's time to replace my lure. That lure is now placed into the top. Here you can still see it here. And then this top is going to go on top of this bucket with water. Here's the trap set up. It's just hanging from a tree. And I have this easily about 50 feet away from my squash vines because if I'm using a lure to attract the squash vine borer bugs, I certainly do not want to have this any place close to my squash vines that could potentially lure the bugs closer to their food source. 